Uh, just want to say a word about uh, banks, just because it's breaking stories constantly. I, I probably will talk about this one next week because this is a developing story that, that I'm going to be tracking and we don't have a lot of information so far. But it, it really does appear that the banking crisis is, is, is spreading, in this case, to Europe. We already have Credit Suisse basically being bought by UBS, which is a massive, massive uh, development. Uh, Switzerland down to one major bank is a, putting a question the whole Swiss identity, I think. Uh, but now Deutsche Bank, Deutsche Bank, the largest bank in Europe, I believe, and uh, you know, it clearly a uh, too big to fail bank from the perspective of Europe and really from the perspective of, of a global bank. Uh, the, the regulators and the central bankers of the world are not going to allow Deutsche Bank to fail. But Deutsche Bank seems to be in trouble. The exact nature of that trouble, I have not been able to get to the heart of. Uh, but credit default swaps, which is basically a way in which one can um, one can uh, bet, if you will, on whether a bank is going to be uh, solvent or not in the future, uh, through the roof this morning. So a lot of market participants are, in a sense, betting that Deutsche Bank is in trouble. Uh, credit default swaps are a very good predictor of financial crisis. Uh, Deutsche Bank is the biggest player in Europe and um, is, is, a, is a, a real, you know, it's going to be really interesting. And it's not clear anybody in Europe can bail out Deutsche Bank. It's not clear that the German government or the European Central Bank has the capacity. It is going to be interesting to see to what extent Europe relies here in the United States. Is the Fed, with the U.S., through the Fed, bail out Deutsche Bank? Is that a possibility? Could that happen? Anyway, this is this crisis is rolling and it's not it's not stopping and it's affecting uh, now it's affecting Europe Credit Suisse now Deutsche Bank who knows uh, what other banks uh, are in trouble in Europe uh, France has millions of people out in the streets um, protesting uh, it it's going to be it's going to be an interesting rest of the month and it's going to be an interesting April so um, buckle up guys. Uh, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good if you care about wealth creation. It's not good if you care about economic stability. It's not good if you care about uh, if you care about your jobs and, and the economy and, and everything else. I, I, I think we are in uh, in for rough times. Rough times. I don't think those rough times will be hyperinflation, but I, I do think a recession is coming faster than what people expect. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.